And here now with Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca. And Ellen, those winds are dying down now, but uh, certainly nothing to mess with today. Oh my goodness, they're between the 50 to even 70 mile per hour range yeah. for most locations. Usually this time of year we expect school to be canceled for snow, not wind, right? <laughs> Here's a look at some of the big gusts that we saw across the region. Holland, that top one, 79 miles per hour. That's technically what we call an unverified report, which means it was picked up by a sensor and recorded, but we haven't been able to go out and verify it yet. Still, with some of the images that we've been seeing, gusts like this are not impossible, and we still have all those power outages that we were telling you about, especially north of Grand Rapids, up through Big Rapids, and even further to the north. Meanwhile, locally, our wind gusts are starting to settle. It's going to take a while for them to relax, though. We still have a wind gust of 38 miles per hour in Holland at this current time. Here are sustained winds, and they're still steady at about 15 to even 26 miles per hour. Again, it's going to take some time, but these are going to be settling down as we go overnight tonight. By the time we get to 2 a.m., we down near sustained wind of 17, which is still pretty strong. And then by the time we get to daybreak and noon tomorrow, we should see our sustained winds between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. By the afternoon, the wind is long gone. Here's like our 24 hour temperature change. The wind dragging in almost a 30 degree drop in some places. Coming up, we're gonna be talking about how long the cooler air sticks around and some chances of accumulating snow for Saturday.